the break. They've got the numbers at three against one. Dale White, look up, big Dale. He wants to go alone. Edge of the box. Lukens yes. scores. And Furler and Lukens, there's claims of offside. Furler and Lukens, a bit of shove off the ball. And I think big Peter Lukens won't give a stuff because he's knocked it into the net and the Bullion Lions lead the minor semi-final by a goal to nil. Scramble inside the attacking half of Reedus. Don't waste it this time, son. Stenson. Reedus again for Kassar. He'll run the arc. No, he won't. Shorten off for Sherifovsky, the danger man. They can unleash him. Good cross. Lewis chests it down. Yes, a goal. Equaliser. And Craig Lewis, won't he love that? That's a real confidence boost. And we're all locked up in the minor semi final. 16 and a half played. And Craig Lewis acclaims the crowd as they acclaim him to a man. Stenson. Great switch for Sherifovsky, one way, then the other. H.M. Sherifovsky, he just scoots past his opponent, knocks across it, Lewis oh, over the top! What a Sensational, move. same combo, Sherifovsky down the left, Craig Lewis with grit and determination. Not within our line of vision at this point. Uh, we'll go with it. Deep one, penetrating, takes a bounce across the area, no one to take advantage. White back to Diorio, oh, off the away. line by Kassar. Well, if he was an MVP before, he is now, oh. Anthony Kassar. Another chance, oh. Boomer from Diorio, wide of the mark. But if he, as I said, John, if he wasn't MVP before, <laughs> Anthony Kassar, he was then. Wanted to leave it for Aritas. At that time, Valentich the steal. Lutkins chips it straight to three Sunshine players. Melrose Ooh. nearly makes a hash of it. Diorio goes to oh, the chance off the crossbar. That's it. it. Second time at Pat Jacarini, who has not been in it since the start of the game, turns it into showtime for number 10. And that Sherikovsky, what a class player. And he'll get the chance again. Left foot, right foot. Sherifovsky turns it round. A curler. Difficult. Lewis over the shoulder. More in hope than uh, expectation, I suspect. We've seen how dangerous Bullion have been on the break. Grabak. Sherifovsky with the header in defence. Jerry Connolly. The other way. Jerry Connolly saw something in the ruck of players. Oh. Taken quickly. Valentich angles it past the goalkeeper, and that might. Just about seal it for the Berlin Lions and Frank Valenich, who's had a horrendous job this afternoon trying to well, foil Ajim Sherifovsky, gets the ultimate revenge. Away by the Georgies. Starting to edge into last chance territory now for the Georgies. You suspect they need a goal in the next five or so minutes to give them to buy themselves enough time to get back into the game, but the break's coming at the other end. The little chef takes off, Peter Diorio, the skinny little legs are thumping. Got a lot of heart. Well, you wouldn't say there was a passenger on, the, on any of the sides, would you? Oh, it's been a terrific final. It really has been a terrific final. You've just got to feel a little bit for the Georges. Quality side, Furler strokes it. Kassar drags himself onto the football, keeps it inside the line, goes outside his marker, across the box, Penalty. not clear. Oh, oh, it's got to be a penalty. No, he's Jerry Connolly saying it, it's off his chest. Oh, that was a penalty we should, without a shadow of a doubt. Robbie Furler has... Hand on arm. Robbie Furler has gone eye to eye with uh, Jerry Connolly to argue that it came off the hands of the bullion player to no avail. Georgie's just got to keep their head and come again. Well, you've got to give uh, Sunshine Georgie's Blakey uh, points for commitment today. Yeah, that's just the... Uh, the tragedy of uh, playing in a knockout final because you really feel that on another day, on another occasion, it could have been Sunshine's day as Dale White gets the chance, goes one on one with Wardle, gets around him, the angle's too much. That would have been curtains, but Dale White couldn't quite take advantage of him, of uh, Wardle. But Deglaris waits for the call, nothing happening. This gets a sight of the target, back for. Stenson looks up. 
Sherifovsky, the danger man. Valentich comes to him. Sherifovsky almost runs it to the line. Cuts back. Well done. Hooked away by Lipperotti. Down forward to Glaris. Top of the box to Glaris. Ball gets a cannon. Lipperotti's there again, the big fellow. Yeah. <coughs> Georgie's on the attack again. Last gas. Terry. Oh, what a great run. Save. Well, wow. right on his head, and uh, Jeff Allwood just plucked it out. He could have maybe placed it a little bit better, but uh, well, great save, great stop by Jeff Olver, and a good header, good ball in. Field shot cannons into the air. Field gets the second chance with a header. Pappas, Bullying keeping them at arm's length. We're back. Good performance from him, John. He's done well. I was worried about that him uh, taking over the role of Robert Krajicek. Long ball offside. forward, Teorio offside. It must have been offside. Teorio into the net. What does it count? It does count. Oh, you're kidding. Well, it counts, and the little chef gets on the score sheet. Sunshine Georgies, one last roll of the dice from them. Canisula's driving run into the front half for Lewis. Onto his right boot. Standing in his way is that uh, enormous form of Lipperotti. And he's had a great game too. Sonsini curls around the corner for Scott Patterson. One on one, it's going to be five. Patterson around the goalkeeper and scores. That's SP. That's five and that's a finals record. And uh, there would even half a chance of that may have even been offside. Well, I don't think it's, it really is. It's all academic now. Be interested to see some of those decisions on the replay. 5-1 Lions in garbage time. And there's the final whistle. And the Bulleen Lions, under adverse circumstances, have run up a Premier League minor semi-final record with a 5-1 trouncing of the Sunshine Georgies. Welcome to the Soccer Show and uh, joining us after the game from the Sunshine Georgies, Adjim Shirofovsky. Bad luck today, Adjim, and uh, really a devastating way to uh, end the season. Yeah, it was pretty devastating. I mean, we started off well, <clears throat> had probably about 70% of the play. Uh, you know, we got one back, sort of spurred us on. A couple of bad decisions put us down a bit, and I think it eventually took its toll, and it looked, we allowed it to get to our heads, and uh, they just ran away with it at the end. Fairly even uh, first half, Berlin leading 2-1, of course, at uh, half time, and uh, you found yourselves pressing for a goal uh, in the second half, and uh, Berlin caught you a few times on the counter. Yeah, well, you know, we were down 2 one so <clears throat> it's no use sitting back. We thought we had to go forward and push forward as much as possible, and uh, <clears throat> eventually, you know, the, the holes start to appear, and they did, and they scored. Great season uh, in general, finishing third on the ladder, but uh, a bit disappointing in the finals campaign. Of course, uh, that will put you in good stead for next year, looking on the positive side of things. Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> it's always something to aim for again, you know. If you finish first, I mean, you always want to finish first again. When you finish third, you want to go a bit higher, second or first. So, I mean, that'll be in the back of their minds for next year as well. Thank you, Adjim, uh, for joining us on the Soccer Show. Adjim Serifovsky joining us on the Soccer Show. So there you have it, Berlin in an absolute canter in the end, 2-1 at half-time and no indication there of how comfortable it would be for them in the second half. 